In this Sling Studio tutorial, we'll go over how to use the add-on for Adobe Premiere Creative Cloud 2018. The Sling Studio add-on is available for free from the Adobe Exchange. Start by locating the project you recorded on the Sling Studio. Remember, the add-on does not move or copy the project files, making it a best practice to move the project folder to your edit drive before importing it with the add-on. Inside the Sling Studio folder, open the Sling Studio Projects folder. Find the project that you want to work on and copy it to your editing drive. Be sure to copy the project folder without disturbing the assets within. A failure to do so will result in errors. It's best to update Adobe Premiere, the Sling Studio add-on extension, and the Sling Studio console app before your project for best results. You can find the add-ons for Premiere under the Windows tab. Go down to Extensions and you'll find the Sling Studio extension. It will open in a new panel. It can be moved, docked, and undocked, like all panels. Click on the Browse button to select a Sling Studio project. A search window will open. Navigate to the project and open it. If you have changed any of the assets within the project, you may experience errors, so it's best not to disturb them. Once you have selected a project, you will have two options. You can import the project as is, or sync camera recorded videos. The Sling Studio uses the audio channel to match your raw camera files with the Sling Studio files, so make sure that the camera recordings and the Sling Studio input recordings have identical audio. Use the plus icon on the right of each camera to find the folder containing the raw footage. You only need to select the folder the footage is in. The software will match the clips. If your raw footage is a different resolution than the Sling Studio project, such as 4K, you can select the sequence resolution you want to use. You will find several new folders in your project window that contain all your assets. A new sequence containing all of the files used to create your project has also been created. Each track contains its own asset. Graphics are at the top, followed by the program video. Next, the Sling inputs are aligned with the corresponding raw camera footage. At the bottom will be the quad view if you recorded it. The assets on the timeline have been cut to match the switches that you made in the Sling Studio app. Some of the assets are enabled, while others are not enabled. This is in reference to which ones were in the program at that time. The easiest way to substitute the raw sources for any of the Sling Studio versions is to disable the visibility of the Sling Studio tracks that you wish to replace. This includes the program track and the Sling Studio input tracks. The graphics and lower thirds on the top track are compatible with everything up to 4K. You will need to manually add any dissolves or wipes you use in your transition, as those do not carry over. For more tutorials, check out the rest of our videos at myslingstudio.com.